My name's Ngozi Ediosage. I'm a consultant neonatologist and I work at Manchester Foundation Trust on the neonatal unit. I'm also the Officer for Genomics for the Royal College of Paediatrics and Child Health. Genomics is really important in paediatrics because many of our patients will present in the first instance to a paediatrician. So when that child presents to you with perhaps developmental delay or whatever reason has caused some concern, a genetic diagnosis might be key to understanding what's going to happen in the future. When we've identified a child that has a genetic condition, one of the things that we will do is cascade testing to the rest of the family and existing siblings. And it does have implications for what that family decides to do with their future reproductive choices. Do they go on to have more children? Do they decide not to? And it also has implications for existing siblings. So it's really important that we take all that into account when we are looking after a child. It is now possible to find a diagnosis that means that you're predisposed to a particular childhood cancer. And that means that we can now do surveillance, which may involve regular scans, and you can pinpoint when that cancer develops. It is also used to inform treatment choices depending on the sorts of cancer you've got and what genetics are involved. The earlier you start a treatment, the better the outcomes. Genomics is currently being used in paediatrics for the diagnosis of single gene disorders, for example, cystic fibrosis and sickle cell anemia, where it can alter the trajectory of those diseases because if you diagnose them early on, it helps you to manage the disease well, make sure that children are under surveillance and also institute therapy early. Another area that genomics is helping is personalised treatment. So there's been a really interesting bedside test that's been developed to identify the variant that causes deafness when a child is given a particular type of antibiotic. It means that you can identify the patient and give them an alternative antibiotics meaning that they don't become deaf. We're really hoping that this new development is extended out to the rest of the NHS. It's really important for paediatricians to understand what tests to order and when those test results come back, how to interpret the test results and really importantly, how to communicate that to families. There are lots of resources that can help you to do that. And if you're stuck, you can also ask a clinical geneticist Paediatricians can also play their part by organising multidisciplinary teams where we have geneticists and paediatricians talking about children who have presented to their clinics and making sure that we're asking the right questions and doing the right tests so we can get to the, the answers as quickly as possible for families who are really concerned about what's going on with their child. We owe it to our patients and families to make sure that we're intervening as quickly as we can to support these families through what can be a really challenging time. I am really excited about genomics in paediatrics because I think it is the future. There are more and more conditions that we're going to be able to identify very early on and that is going to make a real difference to what we can do for our patients. And remember that all these conditions in paediatrics Many of them will have a genetic underlying diagnosis. It's something that we all need to take on board and see as being of value so that we can give our patients the best treatment possible as early as possible.